G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sailing Quick Creations where we're building a 46 foot John Pew motor sailor. So I'm going to jump into the aft cabin this week, we're going to do all the welding in there and just do all the touch ups that were required. The other part we might be looking at this companion way. In the previous episode we had a lot of good feedback where people were suggesting we probably shouldn't go ahead with doing uh, washboards because we'll just regret it later. Everyone recommended doors was the best option. So been doing a bit of thinking on that and I think I might have a way forward of being able to put doors that won't encroach too far into this um, cockpit here. So uh, we'll look into that and uh, see what you guys think and uh, let us know if uh, we're going down the right train of thought with that. Um, other than that, uh, that's probably all we got to do this week. Uh, I've got a lot of parts on order waiting for things to come in. Um, and we'll next week probably move into another room because uh, I've gone as far as I can go at the moment in the aft cabin. So let's see how far we get. So next up I want to do some welding. I've uh, identified a bunch of areas which I'm just not happy with. I think uh, we can do a better job than uh, what was done before. So we've got some areas like here. There's no weld holding any of those bars on. Put a little bit of weld in the corner there. Just touch these areas up a bit. And just like this, and put a good weld down the bottom, but completely forgot to do the upright. So, I think we'll do a better job, and uh, let's put some weld on. Alright, up in this companionway area, uh, let's see if I can explain this well enough. Um, so, a couple of weeks ago we had a lot of comments and um, everyone was telling us that you need to go uh, doors, you'll regret it later because washboards are just encumbrances, you're just going to have issues and you've got to find somewhere to put them all the time, yet doors you could just simply open and close them. And we agree with all the comments. The thing we, we were struggling with was wrecking our brain on how to do it. As you can see, we've got like a 900mm uh, opening here, which means the doors are like this large. And we didn't want to open them, open them inwards. Um, so we would have to open them outwards. And they'd come halfway in the cockpit, which means you lose a seat either side. So that was uh, a bit of a nightmare. We couldn't work out how we we're going to do that. And then, uh, yeah, it is such a big opening. Um, which means we've also got large stairs. Uh, we've got a larger section here than we do on this side. It seems that the uh, companionway is offset um, a little bit this way by about 300 mil. Um, so what we might be looking at doing is adding on some more material here. Um, so we've basically got the same offset either side. Um, so narrowing the doorway by about 300 mil, which means we've got smaller doors, so it's not so much of a trouble uh, getting them open and closed. So to stop it from opening up into the cockpit, uh, the solution that we found, we might have to add in a 300 mil bulkhead here on either side. So we're going to add in a 300 mil bulkhead here and uh, go straight down and then the doors will open inwards and there's basically an, a bit of a uh, like a nook in here um, by 300 odd mil and that way the doors can open into that nook and then you climb down 
We've got a few bonuses by doing it this way. Uh, we all didn't like the idea of the washboards, um, but with the current design, we didn't think we had a lot of choice. Uh, by putting this little nook in and going with everyone's suggestion with the doors, uh, I think it's gonna really improve the design, functionality, we're gonna be able to get in and out easier. It's, it's gonna be a much more comfortable entrance. Um, having the entro entrance way a little bit narrower, it means our stairs don't have to be so wide, um, which gives us a little bit more space inside. Uh, so I think we're winning on a few levels by doing this. So I'm gonna get cutting some of these uh, the rails out. Let's see how I don't like I'm just having random holes all the way through it. Um, so I'm going to have to cut, do some prep work, cut these uh, rails out. Then we're going to do some measuring, get the steel on order so that uh, it's only you know, a week away. I'll have all the steel here. We start building more bulkheads and uh, fitting out this companion way a bit better. So yeah, really like the idea of doors. Uh, we do take all the suggestions on board and that was definitely a winner, that one. Um, so there's a bunch of blokes that come up and, and said, look, I think you need to go to the doors. And uh, we, we yeah, read all those comments and definitely is the right move. So thanks for all that comments. Uh, I'm gonna get on to making some companion way doors. All right, so I've cut out a panel downstairs and I've brought it up to the boat. It looks a bit funny at the moment, but stick with me and you'll see that it's actually gonna work out. So I've got this panel here. She's sitting a, a bit higher than this plate here, which is original. So we're, we're sitting a bit higher. And as you can see here, there's not much of a gap there, but we've got you know, nearly a centimeter gap on this down the bottom. So. I uh, knew that when I was going to uh, build this panel, I knew that whoever cut this, it was cut on a bit of a taper on an angle. So I'm going to fix that angle and I'll replicate that taper on this new panel. I've purposely cut this uh, one centimeter too wide. So I can bring this up here and replicate that taper onto this panel so that um, when this slides in to be the correct dimension, uh, there'll be no gap there and I can just butt weld that all together. So, as you can sort of see here, we've got some divots on this top plate. I've already welded up a plate. There was a big corrosion hole and a, a big hole here, so I've I welded that up already, but uh, this top plate needs to come up two centimeters um, and then that will make that plate the same height as this plate so it's 710 millimeters here from the top to the bottom of the companion way 690 millimeters from here to the bottom <clears throat> so I'm gonna want to make everything here symmetrical I'm gonna bring I, I'm gonna cut that plate out and weld a new plate on top and make that whole area look a lot better okay so I've got my panel in place now it's overhanging here, I've used a magnet to just uh, put that panel on so that it's uh, overhanging. I've then gone and measured. So this is cut reasonably straight. This is definitely cut straight. And we've got both of these going parallel perfectly down. Now to make sure we've got a perfect square, we can um, measure the square. It is out a little bit, I think that's 1142. 
and that's about 50 mil. So this is out by about eight millimeters out of square. Now I do know that these are going parallel. Um, so it could be that this bar here is not welded in the correct spot. Um, but I'm pretty happy that these are going parallel this way. So it may be that I have to undo the tacks on this bar and adjust that to get the square absolutely square on all four sides. Now, as you can see here, that line is only a quarter by or half my fingers width. And up the top here, we've got you know, full fingers width. So we're just gonna cut out that margin of error that we had in, in that uh, taper. So that piece is gonna fit in there nice. We'll get a better butt weld on that. All right, so we've cut that piece up. As you can see, the gaps are much better now. So, it's gonna be a much better weld. This has been cut a little bit wobbly, so there's a couple of little bit of gaps, but nothing we can't fill with a bit of wire. So I'm probably not gonna weld that in right now because uh, the wife and I came up here yesterday and we had a lot of discussions and we have uh, basically decided well, we don't really like this hard dodge at all. I think we're gonna start from scratch and just build a new one. Um, some of the work's been done all right on it and it's a shame to cut it all down, um, but it's just not working out. So we want a more sleek, like sharper angle and um, might, you know, lift it up a bit, but um, yeah, we're just not sure that we like it at the moment. So we're gonna look at maybe just removing the whole thing um, I don't like how it just goes straight up and down at the back here. Uh, wouldn't mind seeing a bit of an angle on, on that uh, pillar. A bit of an angle going there and you know it can overhang a little bit more. But um, yeah it's going to be a lot of work but uh, I think we'll be happier in the end. Uh, there's no point making this look all modern with nice slick windows and stuff if we're just uh, going to be sticking with this uh, ugly dodger. So I might be cutting that off. So I'm not going to weld that up just yet. I'm going to look at tackling the Dodger at some point. So I'll put that away. Uh, it's ready to be welded in, um, but no point uh, putting that in the way if I'm going to cut things down and you know might fall and hit it. And it's a nice fresh piece of steel, all nice cut edges. We don't want to destroy that yet. So after I cut the Dodger out, then we'll look at cutting this this panel out here and putting a whole new panel in. If I could be bothered, I'll probably remove that one too. That's in decent nick, but all this pitted corrosion, um, when I blasted that, at um, all those little round dots, that's uh, corrosion there. Um, so we might just replace both of them. Um, you know, we're going full Monty, might as well keep going. So I'm gonna think of another job to do. Next job I'm going to get on to now is going to be the coach roof windows. I'm going to just start marking them out today. Probably all I'm going to get time for today, but I'll uh, start marking these out and uh, you'll see how big these new nice slick looking windows are going to be.
So I've got it all marked out in pen. I have a nice sharp angle in the front, matching this angle. Just going to be one solid window. And this window is coming back to here. And have a bit of a gap and I'll weld a structural beam inside just to give it a bit more support on the coach roof. And then this one's not going to have an angle. It's just going to be rectangle straight down there. Go all the way back. And we're going to stop just here. So both that window and that window are going to be the same length. Um, and we'll just have a little bit of a bulkhead there. We've marked out this side as well. Nice sharp angle. Goes parallel all the way to here. And then we start a new window, nice and square. And we stop just here. These will have uh, radiuses in all the corners. We're going to put a radius in the corners. Just because if you don't have radius, well, then you've got a spot for fractures to start. And um, it's just structurally better to have a nice round edge on it. Maybe I'm just a little bit fussy when I do my work. But you always get surprises on here. We just pop this in the middle of the window. You can see that that's... 413 millimeters. Same window on the other side. Ninety-four millimeters. There's like twenty mil difference between the sizes of the windows. Like surely you'd get it a little bit better than that. I, I'd be I'd be a bit lenient and say, you know, you can cut them out and they'll be within a mil or two. Not 20 mil. Come on, guys. Be funny. So that's all we got time for today. So uh, we've got some more work done in the aft cabin and uh, started dismantling and reassembling this companionway. And I marked out the windows at the front, so that's not a bad couple of days' work. Um, so next week I'll look at uh, cutting out all those windows at the front and I'll start thinking about how I'm going to get rid of this Dodger. Um, I've still got some more things I need to think about and how I'm going to lay it out. Uh, but this will probably be one of our major jobs coming up. All the, we're coming out of winter now, so the weather's getting better. I can get a lot more work done. I'm not stopping and starting because of the rain. So uh, more exciting times to come. So stay tuned for next week and uh, we'll do some more cutting up boats. Thanks guys.